Hi, it's Paul from Wicked Acorn. Today in the shed, I'm going to show you how to find your wheelie bin. Time for another lockdown project. This isn't my neighborhood, but I'm guessing number four is the only one who's going to find his wheelie bin. You can buy number stickers for these, but that's going to cost you four or five pounds for sure. If you've got a can of spray paint kicking around, here's how you can do it for next to nothing. This isn't rocket surgery or anything. Anybody can do this. I'm going to show you how I did it using a stencil I made in PowerPoint and some spray paint. I did this very quickly because this is a project that's been sitting around for three years not getting done. You want to do this on a nice dry day outside. Start by cleaning off your bin where you want to put your number. Then after you've printed out your numbers, cut them out to make a stencil. If you have a number like eight or nine, remember to leave a tab for the middle bits. Tape your stencil in place. I used some doubled up tape to hold down any bits that were sticking up. I wanted to make quick work of this and I wasn't too concerned about overspray, but you could mask the rest of the bin with newspaper or something. Make sure you shake your spray paint for about a minute. Then hold it about six inches away or whatever it is in French and move back and forth. I've used a lot of spray paint and if you look closely, you'll notice I start and stop again each time I change direction. It takes a bit of practice, but this is a good project to try it on. When you're done, invert the can and give it a shot to clear the nozzle. Seems like a waste, but believe me, it's better than a clogged nozzle. I call these cans of spray paint spray bombs. What do you call them? I'm assuming you know how to make a text box and type your numbers in and all that, but I want to show you how to save your ink. Oh, don't get me started on the ink. It's one of the biggest scams going and the subject of another video where I'll show you how to refill your ink cartridges. But in the meantime, this is another way to save some ink. You do your numbers as an outline. It's kind of hidden. So the possibilities for this kind of project are endless. You could make shapes or grolly things or flowers, anything at all. You just print it out, make a stencil. You had some different color spray paint possibilities are endless. So after you've typed in your numbers and selected your font, chosen your size and all that, here's the bit you need to do. Go up to shape format and then to outline. And make it black or whatever color. And the next bit is the text fill. And uh, over here, text fill, and boom. Well, it's already no fill. So just select no fill, and there you go. You just saved yourself a whole bunch of ink. And I did it before the music ended. Thanks for coming by. Next time you come to the shed, don't bother to take your boots off. But please check out our website. It's Wicked Acorn wherever you go on social media. Cheers.